Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lena Antipoti, this time with demo impressions of a game I absolutely love, which is this Gaia. This is the 6th edition, this Gaia 6, the demo is available on PlayStation. I've played this Gaia 1 and 2 and then I, you know, I just kind of phased out of it, but I still enjoy the game a lot. I enjoy the characters, I enjoy the setting, I enjoy the character design, I especially enjoy the dialogues, which are incredibly funny, incredibly well written. Very good voiceover from Japanese to English, and the actors really, you know, they put out their all, and it's funny to listen to the story unfold. You're as hot-blooded as ever. Huh, I don't even have blood, being a zombie and all. This game is a turn-based uh, tactical RPG. You have several levels. You play in isometric mode by default, but you can change that. You can change the angle and can use them in and out. And it's basically just, you know, you choose a, a squad to go into battle with you and you fight the other enemies. The thing that this game has different from other tactical RPGs is this. You have this thing where you can lift up your friends and throw them, which is important in several stages because it has uh, vertical obstacles and other ones is just have to throw it to you know gain some distance and that's really new and unique and cool in this game you play as Zed which is the hero and your companion Cerberus and you basically storm into the underground castle saying I defeated the card of destruction they don't believe you said yes I did because I am a zombie and every time I died when I came back I am stronger and so you start telling the story to these people in the parliament of the underworld so to speak oh those guys are out like a light probably enjoying a good old nightmare right about now <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! As if the likes of you could ever take out those level 999 During your gameplay, your hub will grow. In that hub, you will be able to buy equipment, uh, make drinks that increase your powers and your your companions' powers. You can put them on quests that can then give you rewards. And you can even create new characters in a giant crab character a giant crab thing and i absolutely love that i love how this game uh, um, combines these uh, different uh, fantasies to build the game and it's really really cool the game is not exactly uh, you know it's challenging um it does have a, a, a offer a, a, a great number of options for you to finish the level some of them could be just head on some of them now have um, things on set that you can change where some tiles where you know your uh, power is increased or your defenses are decreased so you have to play with that a little bit and you also have auto battle which is a you know it's a really helpful tip because you can just put the, the your characters in position and tell them what to do and then do, do auto battle for a little bit and then if you see that things aren't going exactly your way you can just stop auto battle and make decisions again which makes the fights a lot shorter i remember when back in the day you had to do this one by one all the time uh, and then you know you just you sometimes just clean out the mobs the small ones and you have to be there you know giving commands go do this go there and without a battle you don't have to do that okay you can really command them but you, by putting them in certain positions in certain distance the ai will take over and will complete the mission for you it works rather well uh there was only one time that one of my characters actually died and then i have to revive and go all of that but as a uh, mechanic it does work if you're more interested in just the dialogues in the story you can use auto battle more if you're not if you really want to you know push the max out of the characters and out of the fighting the, the, the equipment and all that you can do it yourself which is my preferred way you can just build the, your team a lot better by the end of the demo I can only say that the last boss is particularly difficult because he has the same power that as you which uh, can die and revive automatically. Now, now, you can die and revive automatically yourself in the game, that's not how it works, but if your enemy had the same power that your character has. So it was really challenging by the end because the fight was dragging itself along and I used auto, auto battle, then I stopped using to finally finish him off. But it was an interesting battle, it was an interesting, challenging battle that I really enjoyed. And it's just a really fun game. It's amazing how after, I don't know how many years, I'm here sitting looking at the artworks of Takehito Harada, which is the character designer for the first Disgaea, and it still holds up. I mean, it's the same design, it's the same setting, but it still holds up and it's still funny and it's still going on. And I absolutely love that. So, 
The scale six follows the recipe that's always uh, worked for the scale with a fun story with cool characters and a solid gameplay that I recommend everyone to try it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great game, guys.